love you. I 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 Hello guys, this is your reading for the 30th through August 6th. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. You versus them. Let's see. <clears throat> What's been going on with Sagittarius? What's been going on recently with Sagittarius? Five of Coins here. Hmm. You know, it's you guys have left something behind here, but I still feel like there's there's something a situation that you're holding on to, um, trying not to look back and continue forward. But there there's still something that is hurt within you guys here, Taurus energy, feeling rejected. Um, Feeling like things weren't weren't what you thought they were. Okay. What's been going on with the other person? The lovers. This person still loves you. They definitely do. But right now, I feel like they have some some heavy decisions to make. And I don't know, I can't say that this person left for someone else. That is always a possibility here. That you guys feel put off by this person because they had someone else. But you are definitely on their mind right now. They're thinking about you. Thinking about you know the decisions that they've made if this person even decided to be single regardless you are on their mind let me just tell you that Gemini energy so it could be definitely a Taurus Gemini cusper here what's currently going on for Sagittarius What's currently going on for Sagittarius the Queen of Coins trying to get yourself together maybe when you guys you know broke up with this person <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> You know, it kind of, you know, depleted you financially, depleted your resources, depleted you spiritually. But I feel right now, y you guys are building yourselves back up. And, and I'm getting that even though you're still hurt, there's still remnants of hurt, you're feeling more confident and more secure than ever. Okay? You haven't truly lost yourself. From this situation as a matter of fact you're doing quite well for yourself and I feel that um, you guys definitely miss being in a relationship not that you're craving a relationship but I'm, I'm definitely getting that you know you will be open okay but the right person the right situation is going to have to present itself um, very earthy energy you had guys have going on right now so I'm feeling a lot of um, groundedness coming from you. <clears throat> What's currently going on for the other person? The Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work with you. They want to um, c compromise with you, collaborate with you, work things out with you. They want to make their contribution to a relationship with you guys here. I see them want to come back together and work as a team. I don't know if that is, you know, what is going on like what is the word? They're working too. But I'm getting that while this person is working like on their job in their career whatever there's a lot that they have learned from this job that 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 they relate to this relationship with you guys as well. They know that it's going to take hard work. They know that they're going to have to sacrifice. And I feel this person is willing to, to make those sacrifices. 
I see you guys holding out for a new start, a stable beginning in some area. But, you know, you don't want somebody that's like flaky. You don't want somebody that's flaky. You want somebody that's stable. What's influencing Sagittarius right now? The Emperor. Hmm. This could definitely be this person. Um, Aries, Taurus type energy here. But um, what I'm getting is more so than that. You want somebody that's strong. You want somebody that can be your rock. You want somebody that's going to pay attention to you, to your needs, care for you more than anything. You guys have really and truly built up your reserve right now. And um, you're very strong. You know what it is that you want. And you know that you don't have to grovel to get it. Okay? I'm feeling like definitely this person is going to have to come to you. And I'm getting that they probably will. What's influencing the other person? What's influencing the other person? Six of Pentacles. And they probably will. <laughs> They've gone from the Three of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. Double the energy. This person's willing to do whatever it takes whatever it takes to make things work with you. I feel like if they need to come to you and they know they need to come to you through all of the thinking that they are doing or have done here, they know they're going to have to come to you. They're going to have to make things right with you because they are the ones that left you feeling rejected, cold, hurt, left you in a pinch. They know what they have to do. And that's what they're thinking about. They have to give you reciprocity. They have to. But, you know, I think this person also has been used to juggling a lot of things and not really paying close attention to you guys. They could have definitely been juggling another person. I have to go back to that. They could have been giving to someone else. At the same time, holding on to you here with this Four of Pentacles. Trying to balance out both things. Having a lot of priorities. But you can't have a lot of priorities. Something's going to lack. And they're realizing that now. Okay. Again, Taurus energy. <clears throat> What's coming in for Sagittarius? What's coming in for Sagittarius? What cards will want to come out? I'm going to take that one. Look at that. The star. You guys are making some moves here. You are making some moves here. I feel like your destiny is, is coming for you. <laughs> if that means, makes sense. Um, you're walking right into it. You're on the right track, in other words. Okay? So continue to do whatever it is that you guys are doing. Because I feel like the person that you are supposed to be with, that you are meant to spend the duration of this lifetime with, they are on their way. Okay? Aquarius energy here. It's going to bring a lot of, of healing energy your way. Because again, I feel like you guys are still very hurt. You haven't quite let go of that. <clears throat> but your time is coming. Trust and believe. Okay, something wanted to pop out there. What's coming in for the other person? Queen of Swords. This person's going to definitely tell you um, the truth. They're going to be open and honest with you that they've been hurt as well in this situation. I feel that 
this Queen of Swords energy, it could definitely be their energy, but I feel more so that this is your energy because, you know, you've been burned and right now you only want to hear the truth, okay? Only want to hear the truth. Only want to see them, you know, doing what it is that they're supposed to do. It's what this is. I feel like you're not going to take anything less than, you know, what you deserve in this situation. I feel like you are definitely the Queen of Swords. You have that sword up in front of your neck. And if it's not the truth, it will not get past, okay? It will not get past. <clears throat> You could definitely be involved, or this could be like a Taurus, Gemini um, energy, or Aries, Taurus energy here. For sure. For some of you Aquarius, what is the outcome for Sagittarius? What's the outcome for Sagittarius? Justice. You'll get exactly what you deserve, for sure. Mm-hmm. This is this is lovely. The scales will be balanced. You're gonna have to make a decision here, though, with this justice energy. Because I feel that when this opportunity presents itself, your first reaction or your first thought is going to be leaning more one way than the other. And I'm feeling like that way is going to be to decline whatever it is that's coming in for you. Just because of the experience that you've had before with this person. So keep an open mind and use your discernment. Keep your heart open as well. Because I see no cups here is a thing. Okay. So you guys are kind of closing yourself off to a certain extent. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> what is the outcome for the other person? What's the outcome for the other person? What is the outcome for the other person? The Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, this is a single card. So, like I said, use your discernment because you're going to want to lean towards not... And I'm not saying give this person a chance but make sure that it is what you want is to not give this person another chance because i see them being single in the end here and not saying that whatever decision you make is going to be a wrong decision because it's going to be right for you hence justice so whether or not you decide to give this person a chance um to give this person a chance it's not going to be a bad situation for you either way. Okay. But I definitely get that, you know, this is going to heal you, you know, so deeply. Because this person is going to extend some truth to you. They are. Okay. So, Virgo energy, I feel... Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is here. Aries is here. Taurus is here. Capricorn. Okay. So I'm going to pull a Romance Angels card for you guys to close it out. Please give me one card for Sagittarius to close out their reading. Romance Angels. One card for Tar Taurus. Hmm. One card for Sagittarius, please. 
wedding. This situation involves a marriage. This could be somebody's husband or wife. This reading is for, but for me, marriage does not always involve a piece of paper. Okay, so keep that in mind. Don't have to be married on paper. Could involve a marriage for sure. A legal binding document marriage. Um, there could be a spouse involved. This could definitely be a third party situation for some of you. Okay, so I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye. Blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?